Hi, we're going to do our art portion of the unit study using the book The Doorbell Rang. I want you to take a nice look at our cover page because it looks like the rest of the book as well. Do you see the floor? It has footprints on it, <laughs> but it also has these black and white checkers all across the floor. Do you see Ma's dress, her skirt? It has yellow, or not yellow, green flowers with yellow stems all around it. And look at this friend's dress. Flower, 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 flower. And look at little brother's um, overalls. He has stripes. Do you see that? Blue and green stripes. Over and over and over and over. And look at this friend. He has red and blue stripes. Over and over and over and over and over and over. This artist, the illustrator who made this story, really enjoyed making patterns all around. Do you see the tablecloth? It is checkers just like the floor. These are black and white. These are blue and white. And see the border of the rug under the table? It has these green and yellow diamonds set inside of big red and blue diamonds. And then stars, blue, yellow, blue, yellow, blue, yellow. These are all patterns. We did a whole video on patterns. And patterns are when things repeat over and over and over again so that you know what happens next. Do you see? He's got a checker pattern too. He has a red and uh, yellow checkers. And then she's got a patterned dress also. All of these repeating shapes so that you know what happens next. So we're going to make some patterns just like this illustrator did. All right, and I did it, I got ready by taking just a regular sponge but you can do this with potato or carrot also. You can actually go to the store and get real stamps. But I made my own stamps by cutting up a sponge. And so this is my rectangle. This is my circle. Here's my square and a triangle. They're not perfect and I'm all right with that. And then I have paint right here. This is washable paint. And if you want, you can even add a little bit of Dawn to it to make sure that it is especially washable. So I'm gonna make patterns. I'm gonna use this red paper to make my first pattern and I'm gonna do yellow triangles. So I touch, 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 touch. And I have yellow all around my sponge. Do you see that? It's all covered. And then I touch, touch and pull up touch and pull up touch and up touch and up it's really yellow here not as yellow here I think I'm running out of paint so I'm gonna put some more on and I'm gonna add some more here touch there's some more yellow over and over again patterns are about going, doing the same thing. I'm lining them up, touch and pull up. So I have a pattern. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And I can go all the way down my whole red paper and make a triangle pattern, red and yellow, red and yellow. My yellow isn't super bright in all of the places so I want to make it brighter and so I just add more paint. There's my first pattern. For my second pattern I noticed that a lot of the friends have stripes. Now I can make stripes using a paintbrush or a q-tip and drawing lines like this with paint but I thought I would try it with my rectangle um, my rectangle sponge. So I'm gonna do blue, touch and up, touch and up. So I'm making a stripe using my sponge. 
need a little bit more paint. Do you see how some of it came through? I just touch it again. Touch all the way up. Look at I made a stripe. <laughs> I need some more paint. What kind of patterns would you like to make? Patterns can be any shape, any color, any rhythm. You just do it over and over again so that your eyes or your ears know what comes next. So here I have um, a last piece of paper and I thought instead of just doing one shape, I would do two. So I'm gonna do circles, touch, and pull away, touch and pull away. Stamping is a little bit different than um, when we normally paint. When we normally paint, we like to smear it around. But stamping is just touch and pull away, touch and pull away. This gets us ready for some of those skills that we need to write, being able to be a little bit more precise. So I have my red circles, but I think I'd like to add a different shape. So I'm gonna do um, yellow squares. But I wanna do it in a way that keeps a pattern. So I'm gonna put it between the circles like that. What do you think? Two colors, two shapes, making it a little bit more exciting as a pattern. There we go. Lots of different ways to do patterns. You can't go wrong. And we can see that the illustrator of our story really enjoyed her patterns. I'd like to see what you make. Bye.